Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do another fun painting. So let's get started. We'll start off today with our one inch brush, some red, brown, tiniest touch of black, and not much paint on the brush. Right down here, we can just begin dropping in a little bit of this color. Today, maybe we're going to do a nice little soft sky. With a lot of pretty colors, but nothing too vibrant. So just a little bit of paint here. With the same brush and some blue, black, just a touch of white. We can come up here and drop in a little bit of blue sky. Now, maybe we're going to do a little seascape today. So I do have a little masking tape here at the bottom. That just helps to keep my horizon very, very straight. Much, much easier than trying to just kind of figure it out with the brush when we get there. This way it's already done. Now, maybe we want to begin working on a nice big cloud up here. So I just have the corner of the one inch brush here. I'm just swirling in a little, little bit of a darker color, but just slightly. There, leave these nice little light and dark areas in there showing. Don't cover them all up. And create this nice little cloud shape. This is just the dark part. We will come back in just a second and add some highlights to it. Now with the filbert brush, we can begin to shape on just a little bit of highlight. There. You see, we're just creating nice little shapes in this cloud. And it's very important here to try to leave, leave little dark areas. Do a highlight, skip down, and then do another. Don't just fill the whole thing in solid. That wouldn't look as good. Although, we do want to cover up a lot of this dark. This cloud is pretty, pretty bright today. Now we can go ahead and peel off this little masking tape here. And again, we have a nice straight horizon line. So then we can take a one inch brush, some black, some blue, mostly blue, maybe a touch of red. Oh, that'll be nice. And just begin to block in some of the background colors. Next, we can add just some plain white to the color. This will sort of lighten it up a little white and maybe just a, a touch of red, so a nice light pink color, and scrub it in right over the paint we just put down. That'll end up making a very nice color, and we get little variations between light and dark by doing it this way. With our filbert brush, we can just sketch in a nice little, maybe a little bit of land that kind of sticks out, and it stops right about there. It's important not to stop it dead center. That wouldn't look good. Just slightly off center. Now we'll just fill it in. This color is quite light, and I like that a lot. It really, it almost looks like you can just see, you can see the mist and some fog in between here and this background mountain. So just rub it in, varying the colors a little so that you get a lot of nice little different things happening. Now with our filbert brush and a little bit of green, we can come right in here and begin to scrub in a nice little background wave. Not too much, not too much of this color. Just a little, I don't wanna go overboard. And you can kind of change, change the color a little as you go. Add some more blues or some white or something just to Kind of make it more interesting. With our filbert brush and some white, blue, and a touch of red, we get this nice light gray color. And with that, we can just put in a little bit of foam here that crashes from this wave. Maybe it kind of comes like this and it trails off like that. It's very subtle, hard to see, but it's just the shadow. Don't worry, we're going to put some highlight on it. Oh, and then it'll stand out nice for you. Oh, maybe there's some right in here. It kind of crashes forward. Now we can begin to add on just a few little bits of nice foam here. Just kind of rub with the filbert brush and 
and allow all these nice things to happen. Just like this. Now with the filbert brush, we can begin to drop in just a little bit of color here. In fact, as you can see, I've got a little sketch there. I just took some white paint and just, just a quick outline because I wanted to get this wave just a certain way. Sort of like the way I like to sketch out the mountains sometimes. It just, it helps me know where I'm going and it kind of, kind of gives you a guide so you can see what I'm seeing. Now with our fan brush and just a little bit of blue and white, we can go ahead and drop in some nice little shadow foam areas. You could do this with a filbert brush. I just kind of like the idea of using the, the corner of the fan. Kind of gets in there nice. Makes a lot of little detailed effects pretty easily. And maybe there's going to be, we'll have a rock somewhere in there. And because we've already decided that, we can put the foam in around it. Now with some black on the filbert brush, we can go ahead and drop in a few nice little rocks here. And maybe today, we have quite a few little rocks here in the foreground. It'll give us something for the waves to splash against and create a lot of nice effects. And maybe some over here too, right in front of that splash. With the filbert brush and some brown, we can begin to just drop in a little bit of sand down here. Not too much, just enough to kind of give it a nice little look. Just like there's a little extra detail, a little sandy beach kind of showing through here. And you don't have to go overboard, although I did little, leave a little blank area open for it. I thought we would want to do this. There. And then you can grab, just grab a, a filbert brush and go through some of the, the other colors we had laying around on the palette, mostly white and a little touch of red. White and red. You can kind of clean up the edge. Now with the knife and a little bit of brown and white, we can go ahead and just drop on the tiniest indication of highlight here. Now we don't want a lot of paint. I would kind of almost ruin this little soft effect. I hope you see that's just very soft in there. Very quiet and gentle. And that's the way I, would, I want to keep it that way. That's pretty neat. Now, if you'd rather do a, a seascape that has a little more vibrant colors or a little harder, a little more texture, that's fine. That works just as well. Just want to show you something different today. Now with our script liner and a little bit of black and paint thinner, we can just add in a few nice little details down here. See, I'm just putting a shadow under these little foam lines here. It kind of sets them up and makes them look three-dimensional. There. You can do little details in the water as well. All right, well, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my website and also my instructional DVDs. And thanks for watching.